Melbourne Water works to protect many wetlands across the Melbourne area so our creatures can have a home. The Edith Vale Seaford wetlands provide an important habitat for all kinds of creatures. Chris here works for Melbourne Water. He loves exploring nature and using his nifty binoculars to study wildlife. At this wetland, there's uh, quite a wide variety of animals. So we have uh, something like 190 different species of birds. There's frogs, lizards, snakes, and even bats, kangaroos, fish, and quite a wide variety of small little bugs as well. Well, wetlands are really important places for animals because they provide them uh, with great habitat. So they provide all the food, water, and shelter that animals need. Uh, wetlands are also really important as uh, places for refuge in times of drought. Fish, frogs and some birds will choose to breed in wetlands and raise their young because they consider it to be a safe place. A wetland food web can get pretty complicated. At the bottom we have the plants which are eaten by bugs and birds. Bugs might be eaten by some reptiles like lizards and also by frogs and fish which in turn are eaten by larger birds along with some smaller birds. Living in the mud are our worms, yabbies and crustaceans, which are responsible for cleaning up the wetland and recycling the nutrients. And these are eaten by larger birds too. There are so many things eating this and that in a wetland, it seems like a big tangled web. But of course, to those involved, it's all perfectly natural. Now, unfortunately, there are some animals in the wetland that are not welcome. Introduced species such as foxes and cats can be a huge problem for our native wildlife in our wetlands. Not all pest animals are, are introduced though. Unfortunately, some native animals can become a problem. The so large populations of kangaroos in a small area can overgraze an area and that can be a big threat to the rest of the wetland. Fortunately, it's very easy to help our wildlife in our wetlands. Uh, if you have a cat, keep it inside and put a bell on it. If you have a dog and you're walking it, put it on a leash. If it does a poo, pick it up and put it in the bin. If you have any litter, also put that in a bin. It's pretty simple and that will help keep our wetlands healthy. It's so important to look after our wetlands and protect the wildlife that live in them. 